Hey basketball players, there's one position on this channel that I have really neglected and that is the power forward. And today I'm going to talk to you about how you can play the power forward better basically tomorrow or even today. Let's get down to it. Okay, so traditionally, this is back when I was younger, the power forward was basically the backup of the center. His main position was the low post as well as the high post, and they would share that duty in most cases. So what the power forward used to get a lot of was mid-range shots, whether that be from the high post or out in the wings, they used to get a ton of mid-range shots. Now this is, be, this is evolving into more of a perimeter style position. And I'm going to show you how you can play that today as a big man and how you can play power forward better. So number one, if your offense on your team does consist of you being in the high post a lot, one of the things that you should keep your eye on out for is if you're playing up against a zone defense, when you get that ball in that high post, you can turn around, and as soon as you turn around, if you're drawing up that middle defender, and he's being pulled up, and you have another low post player, he better be sealing his man. And what I mean by that is, if he's down in here in the low post, and that middle man just went up to guard the high post, he better be sealing this defender over, or this player over here, whether it be from a 2-3 zone or a 3-2 and that guy dropping, he needs to be sealing with this hand out because it's gonna be a very easy pass for you to just hit him up and he's got a wide open basket. That's why the high post is so deadly against a zone defense. And this is something that you can utilize over and over and over again and get tons and tons of assists. Now, another thing that you can do from the high post is one dribble moves. So when you get that ball in the high post, Turn, keep that ball high. You don't want to bring it down low. You want to bring it up high because then you're already in your shooting position. You don't have to go down here and then up. That takes time. If you bring it up already, you're already in a shooting position, which is going to do a few things for you. Now you don't always need to bring it up high, but this is going to do a few things for you. One, you're already in shooting position. Number two, if there is a shorter defender coming down from the point and you bring it down low, he's going to be able to smack that away a lot easier. Another thing this does for you is when you get that ball and you bring it up high already, that's going to be getting that defender who's popping up to defend you in a, in a zone defense, that's going to be stretching him out high to try and contest your shot. And believe me, when you get that ball and you bring it up high, it doesn't take much to bring it back down low and attack especially if he's up on his heels or stretched out. He's not expecting you to go and attack that side. And if you do, you're already going to have a whole foot advantage on him. So this is a great way to not get that ball stolen and then you can attack the basket. Now the power forward position is playing the perimeter much more often these days. So if you're stuck out on the perimeter and you don't have too many moves as of yet to attack that basket, or if you don't have the confidence to attack the basket either, this move is going to be for you. So if you get that ball out on that perimeter, whether it be the free throw line extended or at the point, this move still works. You're gonna get that ball, you're gonna go one dribble attack, step back and take a shot. And you're literally not even moving your pivot foot either. So you get that ball, one dribble attack, back, and you can take your shot. Now you can combine this, once you get more comfortable with driving on players, you can combine this with so many other moves. So you can go get that ball, jab, attack through the legs, and then back. So you're doing a hang dribble at the same time. So basically what this is doing is you'll go attack. That's going to drop that player's foot. It's gonna give you space. You're gonna dribble back through your legs and you're gonna do a hang dribble. That's going to do one of two things. That's gonna bring his momentum back towards you or with the hang dribble, he might think that you're gonna take that shot. And if that's the case, then 
if you go attack, hang dribble, and then attack again, you've got yourself an open lane. Now, if you go attack back and he's still over there, you can take your shot as well. So this is what this move looks like. Now, if you are feeling confident on driving your, on your opponent without doing a simple hesitation style move, and you wanna go all out towards your defender, you can really look up any perimeter basketball moves. I've got a ton on this channel, and if I remember, I will link them down below, as well as in cards in this video. Okay, so now in this next move, this is what we see Pascal Siakam do an absolute ton, and that is a spin move. You can do this from the perimeter, or you can do this from the high post. These are the two positions you're probably going to be playing quite often coming up right now and in the future as a power forward. So what you can do, once you get that ball, let's say for example you want to drive right and you want to spin left, all you want to do is dribble, dribble on the spin. You can dribble one more time if you want and you can attack the basket. You can actually get this done in two dribbles instead of three. If you go a bit slower, you will need three. If you go quicker, you want to go two. You're not going to be able to do any less than two because it's going to be a travel. So what you want to do is get that ball. And it's a nice, simple move. And you can do this literally from anywhere on the court. Now let's face it, you will be stuck in the low post occasionally as a power forward. You may be substituted in for the starting center, or you may be substituted in for the center. You might be going with a shorter lineup, and that's going to force you into the low post. And some of the easy low post moves that you can do, whether you're against a taller defender or a shorter defender, is this first move. So you don't want to start on the block, you want to start a bit out from the block. So to have enough room, you want to go up to that first hash mark from the block, then you want to go one step out. This is going to give you room to operate to score on that rim. Now, a simple move that you can do is when you're in the low post, you always want to start low and you want to come towards the ball when it's getting passed to you. Now, you can do one or two dribble moves. You don't want to do any more than two dribbles. That's going to bring down a help defender from the perimeter and you don't really want that unless you want to get an assist to pass it out. So, what we can do here is a build on that spin move that I just showed you where you can go one dribble into your defender, try to back them up, maybe get them back on their heels, which is where they're not as fast. And then after you've done that one dribble in, you're gonna spin off and then you're gonna go in for your layup. It's a super simple move and this is a move that you're gonna to wanna to do farther out from the block. Ah. There we go. Now I hope that these basketball moves help you win more games and score more points. If they do, hit that like button, subscribe. If you feel like supporting the channel, go check out some merch down below, and I'll see you guys again in our next video.